That's Portland Timbers. Um, might go first, right? You go first. All right. The Portland Timbers were an interesting one for me. I think that they have definitely you can you can consider this season for them not good. You know, they're usually top three, top four, depending on if Minnesota's having a good year. Um, obviously, they're not in the playoffs right now. Um, that being said, they've – I wish I've seen more of them, uh, but work hasn't let me stay up that late. Um, I think the – so the best player for me – It's a tough one. It is because there's nobody who stands out as like this guy has been a baller. Yeah. Um, I'll go Felipe Mora, best player, uh, seven goals, two assists. Um, you know, a thousand minutes. He, he's filled that role well. He's filled the role well enough where they were they let Jabo go, who is killing it in San Jose, by the way. Good for him. Um, so I'll give Felipe Mora the best of the best. Um, most impressive, um, and I feel like I need to pick this one because I'm, I'm forced to eat my words. Uh, Eric Williamson is is going to have to take this one. Uh, I put my hand up in apology to anybody who – I think that one only got like four views on TikTok. I'm not even worried. Uh, no, I think um, I, owe, I owe Eric Williamson an apology. He has played very well. Um, I mean, he didn't really even get time in the Gold Cup, so it's like it doesn't even count. So, uh, nah, he's been he's been very good for them. Um, not in terms of, you know, goal scoring contributions as a defensive mid, but in terms of defensive work that he's done uh, and really turning into more of a number eight. He's been very good. Um, my least impressive, and I I need to do some stat checking on this guy. Um, to see where he was at last year. But Andy Polo, somebody I've been waiting to break out for like, it feels like eight years now. Um, and he just, in a team that has a Valeri um, and a Blanco and a ton of these people who um, are out and he could step in and make a difference, he's only played 12 times in the last two years for these guys. Um, and I really wanted him to break out this year. So I think it's a little harsh calling him underperforming considering he, we didn't expect much from him. But uh, this was something I was hoping, he, this was a year I was hoping he could break out. So I'm open to hearing other ones, but uh, on a team that's just been relatively underperforming in general, uh, I was hoping he could kind of step in and be that guy. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, it's really hard to pick underperforming for this team. Man, you could almost you could it would be harsh, but you could almost say like Valeri, just because of what he's able to do in the past versus like what he's done this season. I don't know he's getting older. He's 35 at this point. But he's just been so quiet this year. I mean, even last year when he had more of a like a substitute role, I still feel like he was so influential. Yeah, it's just been like – it's been radio silence on hearing his name this year. True. But it's it's so hard to – for what he's done for this team, I don't care if he goes out there and gets a red card every game. It would be so hard to call him the least impressive player. Uh, I agree with you on the first two. Um, more best player, Williamson most impressive. It, it's hard to pick. It's hard to pick the the least impressive. It may be Mabiala. I was thinking about Mabiala too. Um, that entire back line has been kind of woeful. Six goals against the Sounders, four goals against the Galaxy, three goals against Boston, who had the worst defense in, or worst attack in the league. Um, so I'm cool with I'm cool with any of those. Uh, they've just that whole back line has been pretty under underwhelming. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go with someone in the back line just because they've given up the second most goals in the league. So that's that's really been there. That's really bad. Yeah, that's where they're struggling the most. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Like I said, I just I've been waiting for no, that's fair. to break out yeah. for like nine years. 
Um, but I'm, I'm totally cool with that too. It's not, who's going to call us out, right? Um, top half of the West, unless you have anything else to say. Nope. Good.